Two hogs, Dad. Okay, pop quiz. What's the proper name for one of those? Easy Balaton. It's uh, Filipino. Kamusta, mga kaproud? Today's video episode ay pag-uusapan naman natin at tatalakayin ang patuloy na pagsikat ng mga sandatang Pinoy. Ito ay ang balisong at arnis. Hindi na nga lang sa mga pelikula ni Lito Lapid makikita ang mga ito dahil kasama na ang arnis at balisong sa mga batikang fight scenes ng malulupit na mga international at maging Hollywood movies sama mo pa pati mga series ka proud Isa sa mga Hollywood star na batikan sa paggamit ng balisong ay si Chloe Grace Moretz. Yeah, butterfly knives or the better word is a balisong. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all about kind of, um, it's like it's like making people look up here while you're doing everything else down here. It's kind of okay. crazy. Okay. Whew, okay. So you go like that, and you do this. And you're supposed to have more than one. Nagsimula ito nung siya ay sampung taong gulang pa lamang at kinaailangan niyang sumailalim sa pagsasanay para gumanap na hit girl sa pelikulang kick ass. Who are you? Me? I'm hit girl. Can you flip butterfly knives? Yeah, that's what I said. Well, I can. I'm a pacifist. You're a murderous, cruel woman. What? Anyway, Tim, are we moving on or... Oh, where's it come from? Okay, you're scaring me now. Oh, child. <laughs> you always knock me for a loop. You know what? What? I'm gonna get you two. Yeah? Two? One bell song, two bell song. That's what you get. <laughs> Hanggang ngayon nga ay hindi pa din niya nakakalimutan ang kanyang mga balisong tricks. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Alad unti-unti na nga bang nawawala ang interes ng mga sumusunod na henerasyon sa ating balisong. The second generation have no intention of making this balisong. It will be dying in the near future. Ano sa tingin mo ang dapat gawin ng ating gobyerno? Ano sa tingin mo ang dapat gawin ng ating gobyerno para naman mapanatili at hindi tuluyang makalimutan? ang napakagandang bahagi ng kulturang Pinoy na ngayon kitang kita mo naman ka proud na world class talaga Those who do not know what is a Kali stick technique and how long was the training to learn how to do it uh, Kali stick fighting is a Filipino martial art it's using two uh, two uh, rattan sticks in each hand one in each hand and um, and it's learning how to fight with these defend yourself with the sticks and uh, Um, yeah, I, I trained for six months. Uh, He's in charge of it. It's just, it's just really cool because you know he's just awesome at what he does. I mean, he, you know, he's a full instructor at the Inasano Academy. He's like all the disciplines he knows: Kali and JKD, anything you could think of. He's fucking a master of it. Historically, there's there's really nothing that uh, classifies or uh, you know, there's no record of the actual tactics that they use or the techniques. So what we did was looked at a lot of the fighting methods that we've trained in over the years, uh, the weapon-based systems specifically, which are the heavy in, uh, Filipino influence. At hindi na nga lang balisong ang ambag natin, kaproud, dahil bida din ang arnis na gamit-gamit ng ating mga paboritong international actors para depensahan ang kanilang mga sarili sa ating mga paboritong action movies.
Tunay nga na sumisikat na ang Filipino martial arts at kumakalat, hindi na lamang content sa YouTube, abot na to hanggang sa mga paborito nating pelikula at TV series sa international stage lang naman ka proud. Malamang na panood mo na sa isang fight scene sa paborito mong international movie o TV series ang Filipino martial arts. Pero ayon sa talaan ng kasaysayan, unang naisulat ang Filipino martial arts nang matapang na ipinaglaban ni Lapu-Lapu ang ating bayan laban sa mananakop noong taong 1521. Ayon na din ito sa talaan ng isang eyewitness survivor na si Antonio Pigafetta. Gamit ang Pinoy martial arts ay nadepensahan at napaslang nila si Magellan. Ang FMA o Filipino Martial Arts noon ay nakapokus sa paggamit ng mga matatalim na armas at ginagamit bilang pandepensa sa mga labanan ng mga tribo sa ating bansa. Ngunit nang tayo ay masakop ng Kastila agad nila ipinagbawal ang pagsasanay at paggamit ng mga armas. Filipinos continue to secretly train by using sticks instead of blades and hiding the forms and moves in other artistic expressions. Dahil na din sa paghihigpit ng mga Kastila sa pagpapractice ng Pinoy martial arts. Ba siyempre nakakatuwa na makitang namamayagpag sa ibang bansa at lumalaganap ang isa sa ating produktong gawang Pinoy. Narito ang ilan sa mga international movies na i-feature ang balisong mga ka-crowd. Sit down or say goodbye to your balls. Chinese, two pieces of Chinese. Call it some guys at all, hey, man. It's like the dollar. Huh? Hmm. Huh? You got it? So he's got, man. Bring us the What? Would you be in beat up, Igor? Drop your guns. Drop them. Okay, take it easy. All right. You're not gonna stand for that, are you, honey? Checks anymore? Please. Maraming salamat sa panonood at siguraduhin nakasubscribe ka na at notification on para updated ka sa susunod pa nating mga proud Filipino Moments video. Maraming salamat! Ciao!